Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make some of these low poly rock assets with the edit mode and um, I, I guess like organic, I don't know, some modification, vibration. Anyways, let's uh, start by shrinking this down a little bit. We're going to um, tab into edit mode and hit edges and subdivide and we'll just give this about three or four probably three is plenty we're doing low poly so now within here we can hit O and this changes this unit here and there's some options in here which I'm, I'm not really gonna get into I just maybe try randomness randomness oh my god and the strength of randomness is craziness okay anyways let's um, keep that to smooth okay so this is this is kinda cool because you can take and uh, just hitting G and you you have a lot of control um, with what you're doing with um, all of these things so like I'm just gonna maybe grab all these points here and scale them in and uh, just to kinda bring the rock into a more rounded shape and so yeah essentially how this tool works is you can roll your mouse wheel up and down and make this wheel bigger or smaller and then it affects uh, how much of the rock is being manipulated at once so um, yeah it's pretty cool um, so we just uh, G and kinda just push and pull things and you, you don't really want uh, a lot of these sharp sharp edges coming out unless of course that's your style but um, when we're in this form and manipulating stuff we can we can be pretty fluid uh, with what we're doing so maybe uh, pressing three to faces I'm just gonna like select this row of faces here and um, I'm just gonna hit E to extrude them to give like a bit more of a thing back to these guys and there should be like um oh let's try let's try a couple of different options g okay that gives us like a nice rounded pulling effect g which i could use to help make this rock a little bit more round g g is the the shortcut to move things if you didn't notice that's why i'm saying it so much right now G and roundiness. All right, so this is some crazy looking rock. Uh, and if we go into the the mode here, let's uh, give it a bit of color. So head over to the check box here, which is materials panel, and let's just uh, drop this gray down and maybe make it a little bit like uh, what color? Maybe it's going to be like a bluish rock not very much blue and we name this rock rock blue gray um, it's a good habit to get into naming everything so we don't really want all these blocky squares everywhere kind of makes it feel weird so let's go over to the meta modify tab which is the wrench there and we're gonna hit the decimate so add a modifier and we gotta find the decimation because we gotta decimate the crap out of this rock so now w when we start decimating this rock you'll see that essentially it's cutting out some of the polygrams polygons so we can like decimate it to a point where it's like almost nothing but we don't want to do that bad you know somewhere somewhere around 3.5 maybe depending on the detail you want to hold within it I think I'm gonna stop it around yeah I kinda like the 3.5 so if you hit tab you see there's all the geometry still in here but out here it's not so if you apply it now when you hit tab all of that has been applied and um, it is uh, lower poly and we're gonna do one more modifier here it's the triangulate and that will just put lines um, on some of these places that um, I'll show you what it looks like with and without so uh, doop, doop, doop. so it kinda you see how some of these are undefined until 
this happens, and then they're more defined, um, beautified clip. I don't know what the these options do. Okay, but that was probably pretty close to five minutes. I'm just gonna quickly apply this and go into here and just kind of. Um, there's a couple little points that I didn't quite like the feel of. Um, G, uh, shrink that down, and did it? Why is that a square? Oh, did I not apply this? Apply. Oh, duh, you have to be in object mode to apply. Okay, so now I applied it. And now everything is triangulated. Great. Okay, so now before I get carried away pulling and pushing all my verts of this rock to make it the most beautiful rock in the whole rock and universe, let's go up to here and we name this Rockin' Universe without an E. That's how you spell its name. Um, and, and that's it. So now we have an object and it's named and it's just one object and if you wanted to you could pull it up just a tiny bit and then we hit uh, control S to save this and I'm making a lot of like low poly rocks. So this is uh, my low poly lesson rock five attempt and I hope that works and you can use uh, both of the methods together I showed a sculpting one um, and they, they work well together so I hope that is insightful and you rock the world with your low poly rocks